Hey everyone, today we're diving into the heart of 3D printing technology by replacing the default hot end on our M5 printer. The all metal hot end not only enhances temperature control for more accurate printing, but also supports high temp materials without the worry of melting any plastic components. Let's get started with this crucial upgrade that promises stability and broadens our material choices. For any strip screws, my Torx T8 came in handy for removals. I have upgraded all screws I touched with M3 steel alloy versions for added durability. We'll we be using the hex key 2.0 and 1.5 bits for various screws, ensuring everything is securely fitted. Alright, let's go through a little step-by-step -step guide. First, we're going to start with some preparation. Let's power up the M5, give ourselves some working space. Lift the Z-axis by 200 millimeters and center the nozzle assembly. Pro tip, use your mobile app to move the Z-axis in higher increments. Next, we're gonna move into some filament removal. Navigate through Control, Extrude, and preheat the nozzle to 180 degrees Celsius. This ensures our filament is soft enough to be removed smoothly. Extrude on the screen. Then use the extrusion clip to help release and gently pull the filament out. then power off the printer. Safety first, let's wait for the hot end to cool. All right, we're gonna move on to some dismantling. With your 2.0 hex bit, we'll start by loosening the four bolts that's on the back of the nozzle assembly. This is where we begin our operation. We're going to be accessing the hot end. Carefully lift the top and nozzle cover to reveal the heart of our operation. We're going to continue with the 2.0 hex bit. We're going to first remove the bottom cover. Then we're going to loosen the two screws on the cooling fan section. Next, we're going to disconnect the fan wires and remove the cooling fan section. We're gonna disconnect the thermal sensor and heating tube terminal. With the 2.0 hex bit again, we're going to remove the heat dissipation block. We're going to remove the extruder screws. We're now going to loosen the three screws on the extruder backplate. Then remove the extruder and hot end assembly. Now let's use our 1.5 hex bit to remove the five bolts that are going to be found along the air guide. That pretty much completes it. Now we are going to want to go in reverse and we're going to want to reinstall the air guide back to the new hot end. Let's reapply those components. Let's install the removed air guide to the new hot end and tighten the five bolts with the 1.5 hex bit. Connect the extruder to the hot end then tighten the bolt with the 2.0 hex bit. After installing the extruder in place, make sure to tighten the three bolts on the extruder. Tighten the two M8 bolts on the heat dissipation block with a 2.0 hex bit.
Install the installation sleeve and plug in the thermal sensor and heating tube terminal. In this video, I installed my silicone at the end, which was just a little trickier. You're gonna to wanna to insert the fan power cord and secure the cooling fan block with 2.0 hex bit. Now secure the bottom cover. Place the top nozzle covers back in place and use the 2.0 hex bit to tighten the four screws in the back of the nozzle housing. Now, all that's left is to ensure it's reassembled properly and go through some testing. After fitting the new hot end and securing all parts, including the cooling fan and covers, it's time to reload your filament. Power up, load the filament, and conduct a test. Ensure smooth and continuous extrusion. And there you have it. A brand new all metal hot end installed, ready for more adventurous prints. This upgrade is not just about maintenance, it's about unlocking new possibilities with your 3D printer. Jonah Rose here. Thanks for joining me on this technical dive. Stay safe, keep printing, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Until next time.